Good day traders and welcome to our webinar. We moved this webinar for uh, today. It's 3 o'clock my time, 1 p.m. GMT. So I hope that uh, you will uh, stay with me and enjoy exclusive MACD patterns. So this webinar will be straightforward because I know that it's uh, during the day and while probably uh, some of you are still at work, but uh, nevertheless, uh, this webinar is being recorded and it will be uploaded, so you will be also able to watch it afterwards. So, exclusive MACD patterns, and uh, we will go through some uh, MACD patterns that you might have heard of it, but maybe and probably there are some that you have never heard of it. Okay, and before we begin, our standard is disclaimer. Explain that online education materials are developed by Armour Markets Estonia for a global audience. So, if you want to proceed further with me, you're accepting all the risks. So, this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. Risk disclosure status stating all possible risks associated with Forex market. And this is me. So, today's agenda. Make the momentum, make the bounce back, make the neutralization. MACD head and shoulders and MACD inverted head and shoulders. So these patterns are very common uh, if you are a follower of MACD. For some patterns we will use MACD to align and for other patterns we will use uh, MACD standard MACD that has been integrated into your MT4. Have in mind that this is not the strategy for itself, but rather a MACD educational webinar that might help you to incorporate MACD as I will be showing in your own strategy or method. So this is not a strategy again, but this can be incorporated into any of the strategies or the strategy that you actually use. So, these are uh, patterns that are solely done with MACD and no other indicators, okay? So, let's start with the first one and I will be straight with it. We'll just tell you that we use MACD for direction, that is trend, divergence, that is counter trend, and we will have additional patterns. So, two-line MACD and standard MACD are our tools. And first, of course, we will, be, uh, we will uh, go with MACD momentum and trend. Some of you who are following uh, my uh, lectures uh, might be fam familiar with uh, MACD trend and momentum, but if you are not here, I will now, I will show you. So, definitely, this is uh, one of my favorite uh, MACDs and Actually, I call it a MACD cam, and there are different settings here. So, different settings that I will show you now. So, under inputs, you should go to 12, 26, 9. This should be set to true, or SMA to false. And rest is as default. We use regular MACD for this one. So we will use a regular MACD for this one. Okay, so how we know that there is both trend and momentum? It doesn't matter the time frame. You can also do a top-down approach. But let's say that you want to see if there is a trend and momentum on four-hour time frame. In order to do that, you need to have a zero line on this indicator. So when uh, this blue line and red line are above zero line, we say that there is a trend. So here we can actually see, we can, we can open it like this. So at this point, when MACD crossed about, uh, above zero line, we say that there is a trend ongoing. So here actually there is momentum and this is a trend. So when MACD crosses zero line, this is new momentum to the upside. Momentum usually precedes the trend. So here is another momentum, but we still don't have a trend. Now, when do we have a trend? When red line crosses above zero line, 
then we can say we have a trend and the cross happened here so when this first line of MACD actually is above zero line that is momentum when the second line that is a signal line goes here you can see that there is now both trend and momentum it is easy to spot it now the thing is here we don't know when retracement will start how do we know when retracement is going to start first we see this building blue histograms tick they are tick in color so when the histograms are tick like here we can see that momentum and trend is still in place but what happens when histogram gets thin like this that means that price is losing momentum but is still in uptrend so that might be a good time to actually exit our position and when MACD starts to build again so it means that new momentum has started like here here we have another loss of momentum but we don't have a retracement until blue line crosses this red line and I will actually make this more bluish if you don't see it it's actually gray but it it has a blue hue on it so now it's blue so you can see it here so here this is when retracement has started very easy to spot but you need to know about it right so retracement here you see the price is going down and it, it was respected so once more let's do a break down of MACD trend and momentum patterns with retracement so here we have fresh momentum to the upside okay so I will I will make it like like this here we have both trend and momentum because blue and red line are above zero line so this is bullish trend and bullish momentum here we still have a trend with loss of momentum and with no retracement this is just a small non-substantial retracement now we have fresh momentum within a trend here here we have a loss of momentum sorry this is actually yes loss of momentum here and this is retracement so this is when retracement starts because blue line went below red line while still being above zero line now let's see something that can be said for bearish trend and momentum here we have fresh bearish momentum okay here at this point here we have both trend and momentum you see now this is both trend and momentum this is a loss of momentum here I will zoom in here this is a loss of momentum because we have a thinning red histogram you see thinning red histogram loss of momentum and here we have retracement actually retracement was here but if it doesn't print out if it's still you see this is this was the cross so the retracement started here and it went all above here and then we had a new trend without any retracement to the downside so here we had a retracement here we have a new fresh momentum here we have a new fresh trend and you see how price it follows it perfectly and here we have retracement so thick histograms indicate that trend and momentum are building 
thinning histogram indicates that momentum has been lost. And when blue crosses red, but still above zero line, it means that it's an uptrend with retracement. Same with bearish trend. When we see blue below, going below zero line, it's fresh bearish momentum. When we see this red line going below blue, then we say we have both momentum and trend because this line is a trend line. It shows a trend. This one shows momentum. Here, when blue goes above red but still below zero line, we say it's retracement, guys. So this is actually when retracement has started. So following these uh, advices, you can actually make something out of your maybe Magdia, maybe something better for your strategy. And I think that you will like it, definitely. So any questions? If you don't have any questions, we can proceed further. I will really try to keep this as concise as it can be. But I think that everything is clear here. And you can actually use the, this as a top-down approach. Okay, so you can use this as a top-down approach, indeed. For example, this is the old way of looking at it with uh, William Blow wrote about it and actually it's not that hard to spot it by yourself. So you can start even from monthly charts, it doesn't matter. So you, let's say that you go to monthly chart, you see that here we have a loss of momentum, it's retracement. So we zoom into weekly. Weekly has a fresh trend, but also retracement on weekly has started because you see it's a bearish trend, but retracement has started. Okay. Let me let me just remove these two lines. Now, zooming into daily, we see that daily has retracement, but now to the long side. It's going down, so everything is going down. Four hour is bearish, so we would sell on rallies, guys. We would sell on rallies. Top-down approach. Let's use another example, dollar cat. Monthly, it's in uptrend, but we have retracement in uptrend. Weekly, well, weekly now, it's in retracement in downtrend. So weekly is showing downtrend. Daily is uptrend. So we would definitely go with daily chart because daily now is in correlation with monthly. Zooming into four hour, we see a retracement. And if we zoom in maybe to one hour and M30, we can try to spot an entry. This is a top-down approach, and you can see how it can work. It might work, so try it. But don't forget the basic principles for MAGDI momentum, MAGDI trend, loss of momentum, and retracement. Okay, so as I say again, if you're not here or you couldn't make it because it's now a working hour, well, this is being recorded and it will be uploaded. Now let's see other thing that is also very, very useful within MACD concept. Next thing that I'm going to show is MACD bounce back. Now for this one, you need to have MT4 standard MACD, like this. On settings, 5.13.1. So 5.13.1 MACD settings. What, what is important here? Very important thing is that you need to add these levels to your, to your uh, MetaTrader 4. Now, some MetaTrader 4, such as standard, use only one decimal. Some use more, but you should experiment and you should see if you use Admiral Markets platform, then it's easy for you. I will show you how. For yen, you should use different settings than for dollar. So if you have a yen as a cross currency, then you should actually use these settings. 
go to indicators list, go to MACD, this is standard MACD, and you can use this 0, 0 0.15, 0 0.3, 0 0.45, 0, now minus 0 0.15, here I'm showing you now, so you can see the, the screen now, 0, 0 0.15, 0 0.3, 0 0.45, minus 0 0.15, minus 0 0.3, minus 0 0.45. Here you can see this on yen. So if you have a cross currency, a yen as a cross currency, you should use these settings. And you should see it like this, guys. If you see only one line, something is wrong. Because dollar pairs are different, you see? Dollar pairs are showing just one single line at zero with these settings. So for yen pairs, we use different settings, and for dollar pairs, we use other settings. This should be clear. So you should see your chart like this. And now you can see what actually is happening. I call it a bounce back because it's, it's really a bounce back if you, if you see it on real-time chart. But do we have a bounce back? Let's see a yen pair that it has a bounce back. And then I will show you what a bounce back is. Very, very simple to follow and very, very accurate. So this is an example of bounce back. Watch this. The price goes up. Okay. It makes a U-turn. Watch MACD here. It's an M pattern, guys. He, see here. It's a rooftop or M. Watch this letter here, M. It made a rejection from important resistance and it started to go down. Here, guys, it goes down and it crosses zero line without any substantial pullback. So here we say the price is bearish. So as long as, as MACD is above zero line, it's bullish. But of course, there can be a reversal. If you watch M pattern on the top or W on the bottom, within MACD, that means a reversal, such as here, M. It drops down, making new bearish trend. So from this spot, we can say we have bearish trend. And here, this is bounce back. If the price gets cl as close as it can be to zero line, and it makes a new U-turn, such as here. So you see this MACD histogram is short. This is longer MACD histogram. So at this spot, it made a turn. And this is a bounce back. You see how it made a something like a U-turn here, like this. And you see price went down. Let's see if there is another. Here, another example. Price has broken below zero line. And here, this is a U-turn here, so this is bounce back pattern. Here, price should continue down, and it went down. You see, this is a bounce back. Here, we have a bounce back to the upside. Price above zero line here. At this spot, price is almost touching zero line, and next histogram is longer. So here, this is a bounce back and price went to the upside. Have in mind that this is for our time frame. So you see, pip count is a bit higher than it would be on one minute time frame. Then it had some drop and again it went up. Let's see another example. Another example of a bounce back. Here we have a bounce back. Price below. Here the price made a bearish move. Price below zero line is bearish. Here we have actually a bounce back. You see how bounce back. So if it, anything is not clear, don't hesitate and don't just please ask me. I will explain everything. So price below zero line, it goes straight to zero line and makes a U-turn. That is indicated by next histogram. You see this histogram is longer than previous while still below zero line. So this was a bounce back. So I hope that this is clear because this is really not hard. Just try to spot it. And here, guys, you can actually 
Again, on MACD, you should enter these settings for yen pairs. For dollar pairs, we should enter different settings. Let me show you. For dollar pairs, we would go to any dollar pair. And uh, let's see if, do, if we see. Yeah, it, it should be like this probably. We would remove this one to see how it shows now. Well, if it, this was for yen, now we see for, let's see, like this. Let's see, do we have the lines? Not yet. Actually, maybe we can add, because I did this with a ECN account, so it's different. So let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's, let's use other templates. So I will show you. Just let me figure it out. Yes, this is it. Correct settings here. So, MACD again, 5.13.1, and here, 0 0.0015, 0 0.003, 0 0.0045, 0 point, minus 0 0.0015, minus 0 0.003, and minus 0 0.0045. So, these are settings for dollar pairs. So, it's different than yen, okay? So, it's different than yen, you see? Now, if you try to bring yen pair onto this chart, it won't work, you see? Lines are converged, so it doesn't work. So, you need to put uh, yen pairs and dollar pairs on different settings, guys. Okay? I already showed you yen setting pair for, uh, settings for yen pairs, and this, these are settings for uh, dollar pairs. Same thing here. Watch for bounce back. It's always best if you see that bounce back is happening uh, for, uh, when uh, important resistance or support has been made. Let's see here. Uh, we have a bounce back. But it was not that big, but let's see if we can find. Yeah, here we have a good bounce back. Not as close to, to the red line and not as close to the zero line, but actually this was retracement. So if if this method can be incorporated within some moving averages, whatever, I think it could be efficient. Because you see, the price went to minus 0.03, it's strong support, then it went up here, it went up, and when it was close to zero line, it made a U-turn like this. So new MACD histogram was printed out that was higher, or I mean lower than previous one here, it was bigger than previous one, lower, you see the previous, and you see red dotted line has made a U-turn, and it went down. Same here. So minus 003 is a strong support. And if you see that bounce back is happening from minus 003, okay, it can be a good trade setup. You see here, from zero zero, minus 003 towards zero, and here a bounce back and price is going down. Yes, Evaldas. Uh, as I say, Evaldas is asking, can we use all time frames to trade MACD bounce back? Yes. Uh, um, I mean, best is on higher time frames. Specifically, four hour time frame works good. But I, I, I just give you this as a concept. This is not a full trading strategy. So being a concept, you might incorporate it with another filters maybe. But actually, even by on itself, it looks good. Okay? It looks good even by itself. So in my opinion, this can be incorporated into some strategy or some other tools. But this is a bounce back, you see. Now, let's move on to other form of MACD. It's called neutralization. Maybe on the internet you will find different forms of neutralization. This is what, in my opinion, neutralization is. When you see that MACD is going, let's say, below zero line and then above zero line without any bounce back and it makes another push, that is neutralization because, it neut because either buyers or sellers are being neutralized. 
like here. So this was a bounce back, but then MACD went up above zero line and then straight without any pattern it went below zero line. So it means because you see price is making lower highs and lower lows, so it's obviously in downtrend. And here all buyers have been neutralized and MACD went back below zero line. So you, you, you should not see any bounce back. This was not a bounce back, so we can say this is also neutralization. This is a bounce back, so no neutralization. Okay, here and here. This is the example. This is neutralization in place, so we don't take this is and here. Price went down without any neutralization and then back in again and price went up. Same here. Price went down. Well, this was probably some important event, but you see what happened afterward. Yeah, I think this is this is uh, Brexit. Well, we cannot take Brexit example. We need different example. Okay, here we have a bounce back, guys. Bounce back here. Here we have bounce back. Here we had a small bounce back, yes. No neutralization. So you should, yeah, here. You see this valley, it had no pattern. And then MACD straight through below. Zero line. Neutralization. You see here, no pattern. And bang, neutralization. Very easy to spot, guys. I'm telling you. So you just need a little bit of practice. So this is neutralization. As I say, you can do this also on a different uh, pairs such as yen pairs with settings that I showed to you so let me open a yen chart okay I hope that you are enjoying because this is maybe new to you and here guys yen chart you see same thing with yen we don't have okay we had M pattern and it went straight down let's see let's see okay we need full chart something is okay no pattern here neutralization here there was no pattern on this valley here and even here we had neutralization so I think that this concept is clear here also we had a neutralization you see, it just before you should you should not see any pattern. And if you see just a valley that goes straight through below or above zero, it means it's a neutralization. So it shouldn't be that hard to spot, guys. Okay, so this is neutralization. Next pattern we want to see is head and shoulders and inverted head and shoulders. You can also see this on MACD. Okay, so MACD inverted and head and shoulders. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, I will show you as soon as I see it. Here, guys, it's a form of W. It's not actually head and shoulders, but it's opposite to M. I always show you what M is. Here, this is M. You see how it makes an M pattern. And this is W here. You see here, this is W. It goes up. But let's see if we have uh, head and shoulders here or inverted head and shoulders. Here, guys, this is a form of head and shoulders on MACD. You see, left shoulder, shoulder, head, right shoulder. Below this line here, let me clear this. So below this line here, we have a breakdown, breakout. See, left head, right shoulder, 
and then below it went down same here left head right but it's not perfect we need a better example we need a better example with the shoulders here giant head and shoulders left head right below this line here actually see here below that line we have a breakout and here this was a breakout so it's it's different than head and shoulders or inverted head and shoulders on uh, price section it just make deep patterns you see left head right here neutralization let's see wow this looks but this this could have been head and shoulders if it wasn't for this one let's let's search for it. okay inverted head and shoulders left head right above this line here we have bullish movement left head right it will take some time to get accustomed to it but I think that you can do it small head and shoulders left head right Okay, do we see something? Yeah, inverted head and shoulders here, left head right. It worked out here when this level was actually broken here, you see? It worked out, left head right. So this is easy to use, guys. Here, another head and shoulders, left head right. Here price went down left head right so use these guys to your advantage uh, this is everything what I what I wanted to show you uh, if you have any questions guys do not hesitate to ask me and uh, as I say you need MACD standard MACD it can be found here when you go to insert indicators oscillators MACD this is a standard oscillator you just need to change settings as I'm showing it. So on dollar pairs, it should be with two zeros. On yen pairs, it should be with no zeros here. See? But if it doesn't work on your platform, try just to switch. Try to delete or add zeros to actually see these lines because these lines are necessity. You should be able to see it if you don't see it then it's a problem you need to you need to use Admiral Marcus platform what I can say is uh, it's really uh, easy to use here uh, I didn't have any problems with uh, templates and uh, actually uh, for other platforms I don't know I, I don't know if it will work but for me for uh, Admiral markets it should work uh, okay Evaldas is asking what is other lines if we mainly use zero line in MACD bounce or in neutralization this is extreme lines so this when you see W going below minus minus zero six as is this example you might say that this could be actually a good counter trend trade opportunity so here usually you will see this as a counter trend trade opportunity and it was not for a big extent but it was for 80 pips here you see or if you see that extremes are hit to the upside such as 0 3 level or here and you see you might expect that the price will drop because you have M pattern here and actually this is a higher top than this one so this is high this is a lower high and you can expect that starting from 0 3 point the price might reject on these levels okay it should be different guys so not on 0, 0, 15 or 0 but to extreme levels you can find you see extreme here the price when it made a turn like this it started to retrace so here we had flat histograms one two three flat histograms and here you see how it made a u-turn here and actually from this one it started to retrace so we try to we always try to spot these reversal patterns 
in uh, at extremes okay so for reversal patterns such as WM or these U-turns at extremes it should be a reversal trade opportunity is it clear Evaldas now please confirm if it's clear so yes yeah, so this is to be used with extremes okay here again this was a, is an extreme here you see price started to drop from this level because it was above 0 0.045 and it it made a triple top back the and then it made a u-turn see how it made a u-turn like this valley and here it dropped so yes this is good for potential counter trend trade opportunities uh, Ron is saying please show all SMA in MACD cam sure this is different but if you go to all SMA this is all SMA but I don't use all SMA uh, with this this is solely for MACD not for all SMA okay so not for all SMA just for MACD. OSMA, I, I explained OSMA on channel uh, bounce trading system, CBT system. So Ron, uh, you can actually uh, try to search on Admiral Markets YouTube for channel bounce trading system and you can see how I use OSMA. But I can cover this uh, on maybe different uh, webinars. At this point, we are focused so on MACD, so it should go show SMA, it should go to false here. I hope it's clear. Yes, okay. So guys, uh, I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, as I say, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. This is being recorded, it will be uploaded, so you can watch it as many times as you wish. This strategy can be a complement to other strategies. It could use the filters probably, but even if, it, if in its own good, it, it works. So, but I would advise, of course, using it with uh, other filters. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for your attention. Today we have a fair announcement, so please stay tuned. I did a DAX analysis on other markets, uh, technical analytics tab, so you can go on admiralmarkets.com and under analysis you will find my DAX analysis. So stay safe, trade safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.